In this lesson, we will discuss the mole and molar mass. Please have your periodic table and calculator handy as you work your way through this lesson. The mole is a unit that we use for quantity. We talked about it briefly when we discussed the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. N was the number of moles of gas. When we use the mole, we are usually talking about the number of atoms or molecules. And the number of atoms or molecules in one mole is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. This is referred to as Avogadro's number, named in honor of him. This is an experimentally determined number based on the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. We can have one mole of any element on the periodic table. So we can have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of any element. However, the atoms of different elements are different because the numbers of protons, neutrons, and electrons are different. So if we talk about the same number of atoms for elements, but then bring in mass, we have something called molar mass. So we would be talking about one mole of an element, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and then the mass of that one mole of atoms. Every element has a unique molar mass, and if we use molar mass, we can actually convert back and forth between grams and moles. This is useful, especially in the lab, because we don't measure in moles, we measure in grams. But sometimes we'd like to be able to talk about moles, about numbers of atoms or molecules. We can find molar mass on the periodic table. It's this number right here. We also call that the average atomic mass. Molar mass and average atomic mass are based on the same standard. Uh, when we look at these molar masses, again, it's going to be the mass of one mole of any element, so the mass of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and the units are grams per mole. This slide shows the relationship between mass and moles and number of particles. Those particles could be atoms or molecules. If we want to convert back and forth between grams and moles, we're going to use the molar mass and we're going to practice that next. If we want to convert back and forth between moles and number of atoms or molecules or particles in general, we could use this uh, Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. However, we're not going to spend a lot of time doing that. Um, we're just going to stop at the mole and then always remember that the mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Talking about um, large numbers of atoms and molecules isn't really useful uh, for us, so we're going to talk about moles. That's something that's much more useful. Now we're going to work on some sample problems where we convert back and forth between grams and moles. In this first problem, we want to know what the mass in grams would be of 3.5 moles of copper atoms. The periodic table gives us molar mass, the mass of one mole. So for copper, one mole has a mass of 63.55 grams. We're always going to round molar masses to two decimal places, so that's what I've done here. Now we don't have one mole, we have 3.5 moles. So 3.5 moles times 63.55 grams per mole will give us the mass of 3.5 moles. We get 222 grams. Now for significant figures, we are always going to round to the same number of significant figures that we started with. So here we have 3.5, that's two significant figures, so I'm going to round this to 220 grams. And that will be my final answer. Next, how many moles of phosphorus do you have if you have 17.5 grams? Well, on the periodic table, phosphorus has a molar mass of 30.97, so one mole equals 30.97 grams. Well, we don't have 30.97 grams, we only have 17.5 grams, so we have less than one mole. And uh, there's a number of different ways that you could solve this, 
but um, let's go with a proportion. 30.97 grams is to one mole as 17.5 grams is to x moles. I'm going to round my answer to three sig figs since 17.5 is three significant figures and I get 0 0.565 moles. So you can see we got an answer that was less than one mole. In the next problem, 185.27 grams of silver is how many moles of silver? If we look at the periodic table and look at the molar mass, one mole is 107.87 grams. We have over 185 grams, so we should see an answer that is over one mole. 107.87 grams is to one mole as 185.27 grams is to x moles. I'm going to round my answer to five significant figures since 185.27 is five significant figures. 1.7175 and then moles for units. So you can see we did get over one mole as our final answer. And finally, how many grams of oxygen are needed to have 4.5 moles of oxygen? Well, if you look at the molar mass for oxygen on the periodic table, one mole is 16.00 grams. Please remember to round molar masses to two decimal places. I don't have one mole, I have 4.5 moles. So, 4.5 moles times 16 grams per mole that gives me 72 grams and two significant figures is what I'm looking for and so 72 grams is my final answer so hopefully now you know how to convert back and forth between grams and moles using your periodic table if not please go back and rewatch this video